rodents and other rodents can't resist sinking their teeth into the juicy bulbs that we so conveniently put out in the garden each fall. While we don't intend to feed wildlife with our bulbs, that's often the result, especially with those tasty tulips. So today we're going to look at a way to protect our bulbs from rodents, and we're going to make use of one of two materials. Uh, we can use hardware cloth with half inch openings or chicken wire, which have more about one inch openings. If you're planting very small bulbs like this, you'll want to use um, the smaller openings because a squirrel can pull that right out through the chicken wire. So we're planting hyacinth and camacea, and the camacea is taller, so we're going to put that in the back. So we're going to start, I just uh, removed the mulch from this area, and we're going to start by just planting our bulbs as we would uh, regularly in the garden. The camacea needs to go fairly deep, um, about uh, six to eight inches. Um, the general rule of thumb for bulbs is to plant them three times their diameter. Um, but in this case, the, the planting recommendations were a little deeper. Uh, we also want to consider any mulch that we're going to be putting in here as we calculate the depth of planting. So if you're adding two inches of mulch on top, you want to consider that when you're in your planting depth. And remember to place the bulbs with the pointy side up and the root base down in the hole. The hyacinth bulbs are planted uh, in the same way as the camacea. Um, these need to be about six inches deep. And once we have all our bulbs in the ground, we're going to install our squirrel guard. And I have a pre-cut piece of hardware cloth. And the openings look pretty small, but the foliage can actually grow up through this. Uh, the advantage is the squirrels can't dig down into reaching the bulbs. So you want your hardware cloth to be the same size as the area of your planting bed and a little bit larger. And I'm just going to use some landscape stakes and a mallet to secure this into the ground. I'll do the corners and then a couple of stakes along the inside. The longer your stake, the more secure the hardware cloth will be. Once we get this installed, we'll go ahead and cover it back up with mulch. Now if you find that the squirrels are still reaching your bulbs, you can put this a little bit deeper under some of the soil, but that requires excavating a really large area. And most gardeners aren't up for that. So this is a good alternative and can work quite well. And now I need to just rake the mulch back over, taking care not to snag my wire. And my squirrel protection completely disappears into the garden. Now this is good for squirrels and other animals that dig down to find the bulbs by digging from the surface. For burrowing rodents, we want to build a small cage around our bulbs. So I'm using chicken wire, um, which is a lot more easy to work with than the hardware cloth. And I'm going to make a loose basket by winding the ends of the chicken wire together. If you have a softball, you could try forming it around a softball to get some of the bends in your, your wire. Um, but just work it with your hands. And notice it's a fairly loose cage. That bulb can roll around in there because I don't want it right up against the edge uh, because these perennial bulbs multiply and they'll get larger as time goes on. So we want a lot of space for it to grow inside of its cage. We also don't want the edge to be right up at the side where an uh, animal can just nibble on it. So as we bury this, soil will fill in around our bulb. We can even hold it up, suspend it a little bit uh, to get soil in the bottom. Um, so this is a good technique, not just for burrowers, but if you're trying to put your bulbs in among other perennials where you don't have a lot of room to dig out a big area to put the cloth, uh, this could be another good technique. So as I put the bulb in, I want to pay attention to keeping the roots oriented down. 
Um, but what I'm gonna do first is just set my cage down in the hole and use my fingers through the openings to hold the bulb up and get a little bit of soil underneath of it. And then go ahead and settle the bulb down and notice I have that pointed end pointing up and I could simply fill back in with soil around the cage. So this will allow plenty of space for that bulb to multiply and protect it from rodents. Um, this can also be used against squirrels and diggers that come at it from the top. Now remember, rodents don't find all bulbs delicious. Um, if you insist on tulips, you're gonna wanna protect them, uh, but you can also try daffodils, fritillary, scylla, or alliums, which the rodents don't find quite so tasty.